Ladies and gentlemen, today I announce my resignation as Associate Minister for the Environment. Details of my private life are soon to be made public. Before that happens, I want to explain my connection to this young person and express my deep regret for the pain suffered by the families involved, mine included. Minister, I understand you've scheduled another climate change conference and you're hoping to have a large turnout with students? Oh, yes, the more involved young people are, the more hope we have for the future. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who will implement these strategies. They'll teach their children and eventually these processes will become a way of life. Young people seem to be really touched by these green initiatives. You must know how to communicate with them. <laughs> I certainly hope so. The government has initiated several new strategies to get families involved. I just have one more question for you, Minister. What can you tell me about Kerry Post? Two months ago, I began a relationship with an adolescent. What started out as mutual friendship and respect became much more than it should have. As a Minister of the Crown, as an adult, and as a loving wife. I should have known when to step away. Minister, we never got to finish our interview yesterday. I wanted to ask you some questions about Carrie Post. I have nothing to say to you. Wait a minute. You are aware that having a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old girl is illegal. Who the fuck do you think you are? I gave you your interview yesterday. I have nothing to add. I think people are more interested in hearing about your affair than your climate change policies. What if I said I could prove it? Would you talk to me then? Kerry and I met at a conference on climate change. Her approach was inspiring and infuriating. What should have been a half hour address and a short flight back to Wellington became an all night debate on everything from carbon emissions to the one grammatical error I made in my speech. She's the only person I know prepped and able to back up her every argument. It was remarkable. Carrie was remarkable. Will you talk to me now? This is going to be on the front of tomorrow's paper, whether you like it or not. And it's either my story or you tell me your side of it. I'm not playing this game. All right. Look. You had your chance. Kerry's intensity pushed me to be a better advocate. But her desire for perfection in everything began to unravel our relationship. I could not give Kerry what she wanted, and she could not accept less than what she had imagined for us. A perfect world which I could not give her. I cared for Kerry a great deal, but it had to stop. Last month, Kerry if I had known that Kerry would take her own life. If I could go back, but I can't. Sorry. I've taken care of it.